One of my favorite activities is the debate team that we have at CAG. It's called Asia Democracy, Harvard Association Cultivating Inter-American Democracy. Um, I learned to form my own opinions there, uh, more self-confidence. I am also president of the debate club too. I also love music. Uh, I play saxophone and cello uh, for the worship team and the uh, CAG band. Uh, we just had a concert last night, which went pretty good. And yeah, in CAG, I love how even though we have uh, we are short on everything, we always provide the students with uh, all the activities that they can have. We have everything. We have sports, music, uh, debate club. We have, I think we even have a reading club or something like that, but yeah. Uh, so they have a variety to choose from and I love how the different characteristics of each person can be seen in this school. Well, the mission statement is providing students for Christian service. Uh, but I think what CAG wants to leave with the students is not the faith of your parents, what brought you to this school, but uh, allowing you to find your own faith. Uh, through the Bible classes, through the interactions with the faculty, the teachers, and just trying to form your own faith through this and prepare you as a Christian before going out to the secular world. My discipleship teacher is Mr. Grellis, the principal, actually. Uh, it's divided into each classes and each gender. So we have the 11th grade boys discipleship, 11th grade girls discipleship. And it's just um, finding accountability partners. And through that, we bond and through the many uh, services that we have throughout our communities, I think we just show Christian service through that. And I like how after chapel, we have that discipleship time to talk about the week's message, praying for us, I think is the biggest thing. I think uh, our students need prayer and also Guatemala in general needs prayer of the people. And yeah, I think prayer and also uh, just coming down to see what Guatemala is like and how, what the age is like, you know, you never know what God may call you to be. I know one of my teachers just came here to visit on a mission trip and ended up being our Bible teacher. He's given me a leadership position in many of the areas at this school and I just love how through that people look up to me but at the same time I look up to God to, so that He can talk through me to the students and through that just seeing the students change over time or looking at the sixth graders becoming uh, coming into high school you know and seeing that difference that impacted me a lot yeah. CAG is a great school <laughs> it's, it's I from what I've heard from other other students from other schools and comparing their comments to CAG is uh, CAG's uh, heaven you know for me like in the middle of all this chaos and we often refer to CAG as a CAG bubble uh, where it's a safeguard, but at the same time, the students learn to go out and apply what they've learned from this school. Because we're a Christian school, uh, even though uh, even when we go out into society, let's say a uh, school calls us for to play a game there, or we play our band there, we go somewhere to surf, uh, and they want to keep that connection with us because it's different working with a Christian school. They tell us that uh, our attitude is very different from the beginning. They think uh, God's work is present at this school, especially this school year. Just seeing the student body transform through the Spirit was amazing. Me um, as the president of the student body and I uh, hope for your prayers. <laughs>